booktube and welcome to weekly reads i've had a really good reading week um i finished up jill lapore's uh, these truths um i think in last friday's video i had about 200 pages to go and i finished it up on uh, saturday and sunday and i still really really love this book it is phenomenal just absolutely phenomenal particularly the later chapters when uh, she turns the focus to uh, uh, American history closer to our own day and to within a few years ago. And it is just amazing, particularly her um, sort of her arguments and her presentation of um, the current hyperpartisan divide in America. I thought those chapters that argument uh, was brilliant um and so throughout i really really enjoyed this book um i mean there are a few quibbles i have um she probably could have spent some more time on uh, mexican americans and really sort of how say doing more with how mexican americans and Asian Americans um, sort of played into um, definitions and ideas of citizenship. Um, also, Native Americans, I think, could have gotten a little bit more coverage. Um, also, there are a few mistakes in the book. I mean, earlier um, in the first chapters, um, she implies that um, Mary, Queen of Scots, died shortly after um, James the Sixth. I think yeah, it's James the Sixth. Eventually, James the First um, died shortly after James became king, or that her death um, led to the elevation of James as king. When in actual fact, Mary, Queen of Scots, was deposed several, at least a decade or more, um, before her eventual execution um, in England. Um, and then there's also towards the end, uh, it seems to imply that Barack Obama was a U.S. Senator in 2004 and not a candidate for the U.S. Senate in 2004. So there's a few bits where it's either unclear or but I think on the whole uh, These Truths is a phenomenal book and uh, so many of her arguments really I think ring home um, and also incredibly even-handed particularly her critique of both um, the right and the left in regards to um, America's current hyperpartisan divide. So definitely highly recommended. Also can give a workout shaking the book around. Um, so at the end of um, last week's weekly reads when I would be talking about what I was going to be reading after these truths, I had um, two choices. Um, I went with um, a History of the Arab Peoples by Albert Harani. Um, this is, on one hand, a general history of the Arab peoples, but primarily Harani's focus is a more cultural and intellectual history with some uh, overview of political history, but it is primarily uh, cultural and intellectual, and it is phenomenal. A bit of a slow go, um, much like these truths from last week. I'm I've got about 200 pages to go. I just finished um, part three, which covered the Ottoman period or the period of the Ottomans' um, greatest influence. Um, I'm about tomorrow to start on the um, increasing incursions of Europeans into the Arab world. So this book so far has been absolutely phenomenal and I'm looking forward to continuing with it. 
um, and I'll talk a bit more about it uh, next week. But definitely, I'm really, really loving this book. Um, so that leads, leaves me with what I'm going to be reading after um, A History of the Arab Peoples, which I should finish by Sunday, so I'll have the last five days of July to um, read something new. I'm in a bit of a conundrum again. I have three books I'm thinking of reading and then, sorry about reaching over, uh, something I'll be working on depending when I finish, excuse me, whatever I choose to read. So first of all, I'm, I have up um, Henry Louis Gates Jr.'s uh, Stony the Road. This is his history of um, really the rise of Jim Crow and I'm looking forward to getting to this um, but I'm not entirely sure I should really read uh, three histories in a row because I've spent pretty much going on two weeks with nothing but history so I don't know if I want to make it even more weeks with Stony the Road or maybe read some fiction so we shall see. Um, so the two fiction options are Deborah Chester's The Pearls, which I talked about um, last week. That was another option. And also I'm thinking of reading uh, The Root by Naaman Gilbert Tillahan. This will be a reread. I've read it before. Um, this is about uh, two worlds, Earth and as above um, where on earth there are a group of demigods um, who get involved in a conflict with as above and with these sort of demonic beings who are kidnapping uh, human demigods for some nefarious purpose and then in Zabub, there seems to be some, uh, there's an invasion of unknown forces and also political machinations. Um, this will be a reread. I've read it a few years ago. Um, I'm kind of honestly torn about the book. Um, I really like it on sort of the idea side. Um, but I think there are too many narrators. That if the story could have been just limited to Eric, um, the primary Earth-centered protagonist, he's a gay former um, child actor, and Lil, who's an apprentice librarian in Zabub, I think the story would have been stronger. But it's every character seems to have their own point of view chapter, and that kind of uh, I think doesn't quite work for me, but I'm going to give the root another go. And depending who exactly I pick um, to for on Monday, if I finish um, the uh, Stony the Road, the Pearls, the Root uh, before Friday or at once Friday hits. I'm going to probably read a story from the Locus Awards anthology. I'm not entirely sure who yet. I just basically came up with this idea before I um, started this video. So anyway, or recording, I should say. So that's my plan, and then I'll uh, reveal what I eventually decided to do next Friday reads. So, um. Touching on some plans for August and for next week. So next week, I'm going to have two videos up. I will be doing my July book haul. There they are right there. Um, and I will be doing this uh, that video early. It'll probably be up about 7 something central time. And then I will have my weekly reads about 
the time I normally do weekly reads around this time. But when I do my normal like early afternoon for Central Time video, I'm not going to be available. I'm going to be rearranging my room. So once I get the July books put up um, and logged into my computer, once I get off of work, I'm going to come in here, take off all of the books, and then start rearranging the room and see if I like what combinations I can make up. And then put all the books back and then hopefully by the time I do my weekly reads, my room will be reorganized. Um, also, I'm going to be thinking about maybe changing how I film or the like setting because I basically have my tablet uh, leaning up against the wall or the wall in my uh, headboard bookcase or bookshelf really uh, and me is sitting in my uh, desk chair. My desk chair is about to give up the ghost so I'm probably either going to have to get a new chair or think of some other way of filming and we'll work on that uh, in the coming week. So also in August, there's two um, reading projects or that I'm thinking of joining. There's, a, I think it's Summer Fling Readathon hosted by uh, Steeped in Books where readers will be, or booktubers can be reading um, romance novels. And I honestly, romance is a genre I'm not familiar with. So I think I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to read probably two, maybe three. One of those books, I know for sure, I'm going to go through the books that my mom has um, because she does read romances and pick one of those books to read. And then I'll probably pick a uh, gay romance I have on my Kindle. I mean, there's also a physical cup book that I've been thinking about getting, so I might get that too. So we'll wait and see how that goes. And I'll probably make a announcement video or something next week. And then there's also a history challenge uh, towards the end of August that I heard about from uh, Ghost Reader. So I'll probably do some history there, but I mean, obviously I'm reading a whole lot of history, so that might be um, just padding the something or other. Anyway, so that's all of the reading plans I have. Um, I might try to get started on watching some more Netflix. It's been about a month or more probably since I've done any Netflix viewing or watching movies or anything, so I probably should probably should get on that and I'm thinking about re-watching no not watching yeah I probably need to about wrap it up uh, listening to uh, the two Savage Garden CDs um, or albums Savage Garden and Affirmation so I think I'll try to get those done too so anyway I'm starting to ramble so it's about time I wrap this up thank you booktube have a great weekend and I will see you hopefully on Monday and until then please stay safe